What's up y'all, this is LG857 and this is a my take review of the CTA Digital PS Vita hand grip. Now, um, one thing I wanna say is uh, PS Vita, first off, one of my favorite systems. This thing is great. I love the fact that it has the dual analogs. They feel very good. Um, again, I got big hands. So, I mean, this is very fun. It's very, it feels very smooth in your hands. But over time, my hands start getting cramped up and it gets a little tiring uh, trying to, to control this. So, um, that being said, I went in the market and I went on Amazon. I remember looking around and I found this, the CTA hand grip for the PS Vita. Now this is pretty uh, standard. This is a pretty standard grip. If you look here, it's a, it's a nice plastic, but it's, like, it's actually uh, like a coated uh, plastic. So it's like, it's almost like a rubberized feel, but it's a rubbery coating on the outside. So, it, so you know, it's not sliding off your hands, which feels very good. So as you can see in my palms, it feels pretty sturdy. Um, and then it has pretty much, it's one solid piece except for this part right here, which just slides in and out. It's a locking mechanism. Uh, so I'll go ahead and show you right here. So you take the, uh, the Vita, you put it right here. Bam. You close it right here and then you press down to lock it. Now the only other thing that I don't like about this, um, even though it feels really good in the hands, as you can see, it's like a video game controller. It feels very good. You got the grips of my fingers. My fingers actually going through there. Only other thing I don't like is the fact that the locking mechanism, which is down here, is also covering the charging port. So if you want to play, uh, you know, and charge, you can't do that, unfortunately. But the good thing about the Vita is that the battery life on this thing is fairly good. Um, it's way better than the Switch, actually. But um, I think it's about, what, five hours? Which is not that bad. Um, still, though, it would have been nice if, uh, you know, CTA uh, made a, maybe a different version of this that uh, had a, a way that you could charge your Vita while using the hand grip. Um, I believe they make another version of this, actually. Um, as you can see on the back here, it's you have to touch the touch uh, uh, touch back here, the touch controls, accessible right here. So for those other games where it requires you to touch the back, you can do that pretty easily. But uh, I believe the CTA makes another version of this that has a battery pack built in. So you charge the uh, the grip and then you plug it in. It actually gives you uh, a longer uh, battery life, which is pretty cool. But um, I didn't want to spend the money on that. I, I think it was a little bit more for it, but I might be able to find it online uh, nowadays since the uh, unfortunately the Vita is no longer uh, being supported by Sony. But um, yeah, I'm gonna leave. Go ahead and leave a, a link in the description for you guys. So, uh, so you, if you're interested, you can purchase it for yourself. It's uh, it's actually a good buy if you if you just want something that's uh, you know com more comfortable in the hands while you're playing your Vita games on the go. And it's uh, it's actually not that bulky as well, so it doesn't take up too much room. So you can actually throw both of these in your bag um, without taking up all the room and space. So uh, that being said, this was my take. Let us know what your take is in the comments. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this and hit us up on all our social media. I'm Al G857 once again. Peace.